talk about how to work with Keynote and PowerPoint. Now I'm going to mainly demonstrate this in Keynote because it's what I'm used to. I'm on the Mac. But PowerPoint is virtually the same. Uh, if you're familiar with PowerPoint, these techniques are going to be pretty much the same. Just, you know, all the differences are going to be where you import the images and how you move them, them around and how you apply the effects and stuff like that. But you already probably know that if you use PowerPoint. So let's just talk about the very basics of just getting this in. Now, what we're looking at right now is a template that we include with the monthly membership. This is uh, this month's uh, template. And so there's a series of uh, templates, and uh, you, you, you can see them real quick here. This is, I'm just doing a quick demo. And all of this was simply created with all of the different pieces inside of the whiteboard, uh, the hand drawn whiteboard mega bundle. And so I'm going to go ahead and just look at this one. Here's just a, a simple sample. Uh, you know, you might be talking about the global impact of your product and you want to kind of show that. And so I'm just going to quickly demonstrate this slide. And I did a little pop in effect and come from the top, stop in this, um, from the top, and then Here's from the sides, very simple, very basic. And so um, now I started this off inside of Flash and I simply uh, import, I just took the different uh, art from different modules, which I show in, in the other video on how to customize the art. And I plunked them in here. And once I was happy with the size and everything, then I just go ahead and I copy and I paste this to a new document. Doesn't really matter the size. And I'm gonna go ahead and then just file, export image. And we're going to export that as a ping. Very simple. And uh, there's a world. All right. And then we save. And so that's going to be at the size that I set it for. And so you do want to make sure that your dimensions of your flash file are similar to the ones you're going to have in your presentation. Something like 1024 by 768. And so it's already at the size I need it. I don't have to size it up or down that way, and I don't lose any image quality uh, going up and down. Um, so inside of Keynote, very simply, just you know, take that image. And this I've already got it in there, obviously, but I can do the insert, and I choose, and I can go ahead and import that world image as I've already done, and then just position it where I want. And so. That's, that's your basic thing, and then after that, you can simply add an effect, and in this particular case, I did a, I think I did a pop effect, where it zooms into place, it did, and so I'm going to go ahead and just delete that, because it's already there, and that's really the nuts and bolts of it, it's very, very simple, um, you can just go ahead and add them, and when you want to add a new slide, you just go down, and you add another slide, and one little tick tip that I do, I don't like to use any other templates, I simply use a blank one, and then import my art however I want. And that's how you do it. It's very simple, and you can get a lot of cool stuff here. And in, the, in another video, we're going to talk about how you can take these and import them into ScreenFlow or Camtasia or whatever video editing, compositing video program that you use. And in the pro level, we talk about how you can take these, record a video from here using ScreenFlow or Camtasia, and then import it inside of VideoMaker FX. So check that out in the pro level.